hi my beautiful people welcome back to my channel now today I'll be showing you two products you can use to draw your eyebrows and it is the pencil and the dip brow pomade so to start with the first brow we're going to be using the pencil so you would need that and you also need a spoolie concealer concealer brush and a blending brush first I'm going to start off with um, matting out my brows to get rid of any moisture so I just use a setting powder with a fluffy brush for that then I take the spoolie and I brush my brows upwards so that I can have a clear view of where I would like to start. Then I take my pencil and I draw right underneath my brow. As you can see, I'm going right underneath where my brow hair grows and I'm creating my arch and I'm taking it out till the tail end. Then I take my time and I go a little bit past the front of my brow. And then I take my spoolie again and I brush my brows downward so that I can start creating the top line. So I just follow where the hair starts. And then I create a rounded part where the arches and I go connect it to the bottom tail end as you can see I did not start at the beginning of my brow with the top line and I'm now filling it in after this I will be turning my pencil and flicking it in an upwards motion so that I can mimic hair like strokes. Then I take my spoolie again and I brush upwards the front part and then I just make sure everything is well blended. And then I fade the front part. Then I'm gonna take the pencil again and I'm just gonna fill in where and if where that the brush um, took off. See? Now I go in with my LA Girl Pro concealer in medium beige and my concealer brush to clean up the bottom portion of my brow. So I just start cleaning up underneath the brow where I draw the line just making sure it's well sharp and crisp and I take my time at the arch area and I drag it downwards to the tail now that I go to the faded part because I didn't want to make it too high or too low Then I turn the brush just to add the rest of the concealer. And then I clean up the tail. Then it's time to blend out that concealer. So I start off with a patting motion. Then I use windshield wiper motion for the bottom part. Then I take my foundation with the same concealer brush and I clean up the top part of my brow. And then connect it to the bottom part making sure my lines are nice and crispy and 
then I drag it out so that I can blend it. Blend, blend, blend. Then I take whatever that's left on the brush and further diffuse the um, faded part, the front part of my brow. That's the foundation I use. It's a Jordana 2-in-1 um, Golden Caramel. That's my brow. Now let's move on to the second one, which this um, pomade. I just get the product on the brush and then I use the cap to flatten the brush so that it can give me a nice sharp line. I brush my brow here up like the first one and then I take my time and I create the line on the bottom right underneath the hair. I'm sorry I'm not in focus properly. I wasn't paying attention. And then whatever product that's left, I take my time and bring it a little bit past my brow hairs. Then brush it, brush the hairs down again, and then create that line. I try to use a steady hand, so what I do is I rest my elbow on the table to do this brow because this brow is my difficult brow. So I'm just creating a line trying to take my time to do this because this brow is higher than my other brow. So I try to make it um, be on one level as best as I can. And then I fill it in afterwards. Then I take my spoolie and I diffuse the front and I brush out the rest of it. Um, you have to work quick with this product. It's the MAC Paint Pot. Sorry, the MAC um, Dip Brow Gel. So you have to work quickly with it. Because it dries down and when it dries down it does not budge so I'm taking the same concealer and I'm just cleaning up underneath and trying not to make the arch too high I'm taking my time while doing this brow further doing it creating my arch making sure my line is very crisp then I take my blending brush and I pat the concealer in and then I go winchy wiper motion making sure the concealer on the one side connects with the concealer on the other side now for this part how i clean up the top part of my brow i used my left hand to to hold steady my right hand so that i can create this nice line to clean it up because my hand will shake like hell if i don't <laughs> hold it properly I can't you put, place my elbow on the on the table for this one so I just take my time and I make sure it looks similar to 
the other brow because as we know eyebrows are sisters not twin And now it's blending, blend, 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 blend. Just working the foundation into my skin. And then diffusing the front part to give it that nice fade. And I take my spoolie and I further fade it again. Then I made a boo-boo with the foundation when I was cleaning up so I'm just using the brush to create my line again as I told you before this is my difficult brow there you go see that side is with the pencil that side is with the dip brown shell yep and then I take a clear mascara it's a brown mascara and I just want to set everything in place make sure that the brow hairs are in the direction that I want them to stay so I just use the uh, mascara wand to just place the brow hairs in the direction I want them to go so I want the front part which is the faded part to go up and then everything else to go to the side and there you have it for the brows and I'm going to include the eye portion of it because why not you can go ahead and keep watching Hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you won't miss another upload you can follow me on all my socials which is listed in the description box down below bye